of the evidence that jury took into consideration surveillance video, and tonight we know exactly what it showed. Look closely at the two men in the dark shirts. One is the victim, Ramon Colorado, there with shorts on. Both were in line for prescriptions. An argument began over who cut whom. What well, escalated when Colorado pulled out pepper spray, then both men pulled guns and began shooting. One of the bullets would kill Colorado, and Ben claimed self defense. And on your side, Ava Hurdle was in the courtroom today, and Ava, the judge, really tried to encourage a verdict here. Well, that's right, Tom. Initially, when the jury said it could not reach a decision, the judge told the panel to go back and try again. But in the end, a mistrial was declared because the jury was still divided over Ben's innocence or guilt. No, let's talk to my lawyer. Everything's good. Talk to my lawyer. God bless you. And that's all Burnell Ben had to say after a judge dismissed the jury in his voluntary manslaughter case and declared a mistrial. This for the 2012 shooting death of Ramon Colorado inside this right aid off Tidewater Drive. According to police, Ben and Colorado had words over cutting in line, then Colorado assaulted Ben with pepper spray. Moments later, the unthinkable happened when the situation escalated to gun violence. This is what Ben told us from jail after his arrest. Well, I said, sir, put that gun down, sir. You know what I'm saying? That's when I point my gun at him. Put that gun down, sir. The gentleman that we're talking about spun around and proceeded to fire at me. When he proceeded to fire at me, I fired back. Colorado was dead and Ben was wounded. Now, Colorado's family declined comment today as Ben awaits a new trial. No new date has been set. We're live in Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.